Hi there, I'm Birgit O'Connor and welcome to my studio. Now for this lesson, what I'd like to do is just give you an idea how you can easily create more depth in your paintings. Now, this is based on my white tulip uh, lesson that I have in my online school, but basically you can see that this is the original painting. It was a 40 by 30, and I spent more time on it than I actually did with the demonstrations. But what we have here is a lot of depth. The goal was to actually pull the flower forward away from the background, push the background back. And also you may notice that we have this light area right in here and you might wonder why do I have that? And I, you know, I'm thinking about this right now. I guess I could think of it as the illusion of another flower back there, but that wasn't my intention. Really what I wanted to do was work with form and shape, pull these flowers forward and then try to have a dramatic background and that's why we have that dark color back there but I didn't want it to be all dark or dead I wanted to have just a little bit of light coming through and that's why I have this area right here just in case you're wondering the other thing I wanted to do was work with the shadows and you can see right through here I wanted to actually pull the flowers forward and then use those shadows there to help um, pop them forward because otherwise tulips can easily look like easter eggs on sticks and i had quite a bit of a problem trying to uh, do tulip paintings the way i wanted to do them um before you know i would always they would always be too cute they they just didn't have what i wanted and aside from that anyway for this lesson it's working with white flowers shaping it and then how to get the depth that we want so I think I'm going to give you an idea of what I do in the course, and I think it's a good overview. And basically what I do, I'm not really going to do a, a demonstration. It's just giving you the idea. So if I have my painting of whatever white flower you want, I'm going to go ahead and kind of um, find my forms. I could work one flower at a time, but it's nice that I can actually use the entire paper and then use my water, shape it, create my map. And my map really is just the underlying painting. And then what I would do is come back in with another layer right there. So I'm starting to build some of those values up without any detail. And then I start to work on my stems and shadows and find my forms. From there, what I'll do is start working on the background. And if I look at this painting here, the background's fine, but it doesn't have enough oomph to it. And I would go a little darker there. I'd look at these shadows. I like the transition of the values a little bit darker here to light, because if it's all just one color, it's gonna look flat. I like this right here. So as I'm painting, I'm going to put it up and step away from it so I can constantly reevaluate what's happening. And then I would think, you know, I really like this area here. Where do I need to put it in the other flowers to get the shape that I want? Then if I look at these shadows, I think they're a little, they're fine, but I think that they could be better. And maybe I'd want to go a little darker with my values. So those are the things that I'm constantly evaluating as I'm painting. And if I look at this painting, I like the background. I think that that's nice and rich. I have the shadows that I want over here. But if I look at these flowers, they just, they look a little flat. So I would need to work with my values very similar to up here and along that area right there. That way I can get the shape that I want. And in order for me to do that, I need to put my painting up and step back and evaluate. So basically this project is working with different values and trying to push and pull your flowers so it doesn't look like it's just on one plane. We want to create the illusion of depth. And I think you're really going to enjoy this. So if you decide to join me, there's a link to the course below. And until next time, have fun and happy painting.